broken window fallacy is a famous parable about the hidden consequences of economic policies, which was first told by French economist Frédéric Bastiat over 150 years ago. I'm Jamie Stevenson, and with me to discuss it is David Seymour from the Frontier Center for Public Policy. So David, in a nutshell, what is the broken window fallacy? Well, the original broken window story was set in a small town in France almost two centuries ago. And it begins with a boy throwing a brick uh, through a shopkeeper's window. And it then starts to analyze the reaction of the crowd that gathers around. Um, so at first they pity the shopkeeper, and then they find some upsides to this breakage. The window has to be replaced. Yeah, exactly. They reason that the window will need to be replaced, and that means money for some glazier somewhere. Um, but they don't stop there. They then figure that the glazier might put the money towards uh, new tools, and then the tool maker might buy new clothes, and so on, until it seems as if breaking the window is actually an economic opportunity. So in this world, breaking things is a new get-rich-quick scheme? According to the version we've heard so far, yeah, and that story is easy to imagine because it's real and it's actual. Even though it's less obvious, though, uh, what's more important is what the shopkeeper would have done if he hadn't had to pay uh, for a new window. So imagine that he was going to buy, say, a new suit with the money. Uh, then the sewing machine maker might have got some money as a result of that, and he might have bought, and, and so it goes. Uh, there is a whole set of people who weren't considered before. So. Rather than creating wealth, the breaking of the window just transferred the money from the glazier to the tailor. Yeah, it's actually worse than that, because not only was there no net gain in wealth, uh, there was actually a net loss in wealth to the community. Because had the window not been broken, there could have been one window plus one suit. Now, because the window was broken, there is just one window as before. Um, but the more important point underneath all of this is that actual events get so much more attention than hypothetical ones. And with the broken window, this bias is so strong uh, that a loss actually gets confused with a gain. The story is very powerful, but it's also fiction. How can it be applied to the real world? Well, it's applicable to any economic policy that achieves its stated goals. It's a cautionary tale about being caught up in the actual outcomes of a policy and forgetting what might have been otherwise. Bastiat called those other outcomes the unseen. For example, the federal government's recent economic action plan has been full of promises about all the people who will be employed, what industries will benefit, what things will be built, and so on. Uh, there's actually a Government of Canada website. But there's that lists no website that describes all of the things that could have been built with the money. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and that doesn't necessarily mean that these stimulus projects were bad spending, uh, just that the results are advertised very aggressively. However, just as big a story could have been made of all the things people would have done with the money had it been left with taxpayers or spent on other government programs. Now, because those things didn't actually happen, they are unseen. And the lesson of the broken window is to try to see the unseen. Just because the other possibilities aren't real or actual uh, doesn't mean that they couldn't have been just as valuable. To summarize the broken window fallacy, it's too easy to focus on the actual outcomes of an economic policy, just as it's way too easy to focus on the results of the broken window. However, the unseen hypothetical that might have happened is just as important. When a future policy can go one of two ways, it's essential to imagine all possible outcomes, not just the most immediate or advertised ones. This was the second episode on On the Other Hand. Each subsequent episode applies the basic lesson from economics in one lesson to an economic policy question. Upcoming policy issues include rent control, bailing out industries, the effect of technology on employment, the role of unions, and the economic cost of war. Until then.